Hi everyone, I'm back again with the very first video from 2018. Woohoo! How are you? I hope that everyone is doing just great. For the very first video of the year, what I wanted to do was a recap. Now, I not only wanted to recap 2017, but I wanted to recap my entire journey uh, when I first started Weight Watchers, just to give you a brief little um, recap of what's been going on and leading up to 2018. So let's get started, okay? So the first things first, uh, I'm gonna take you back in time. <laughs> to Memorial Day of 2013 and I've got my notes because it's been a while. <laughs> so in Memorial Day of 2013, I, I was sitting down, I was just about to enjoy this amazing barbecue uh, dinner uh, with my family, it was Memorial Day and, and lo and behold, I sat down so I could eat and poop, my, <laughs> my uh, pants button flew across the room and it was so uncomfortable. People were like, what's going on? And my husband was like, don't worry about it. We're just gonna go get new pants uh, tomorrow. So I didn't think anything of it. I was just like, oh, it's another Tuesday, whatever's going on. And um, we're just gonna go get new, uh, bigger size pants tomorrow, which is what I had always been doing up to then. Just go get bigger pants, you know. That's the solution to everything. <laughs> And so then lo and behold, I go to this Cato store and they're like, uh, no ma'am, Pam, it's not happening. There is no more size beyond size 28. So, uh, yeah, sorry. And, um, I was just stunned. Like it was the first time that in life that it, I, it hit me like, oh my God, you know, what's going on here? And so that started my journey to saying, oh my God, I have to lose weight because there was no clothes that would fit me. And for those of you that have been with me uh, since the beginning of my journey, I've retold this same story on my blog. And so since Memorial Day, I was kind of looking around, seeing my options, seeing what's going on, uh, what, what could I join, what could I get into, what kind of diet plans you know, I could, get, I could start because I needed to lose weight. And in June the 3rd of 2013, I joined Weight Watchers. Now my brother had joined Weight Watchers and my mom had told me uh, that it was kind of a scary program because uh, my brother had lost so much weight and it was so fast and she was like, wow, it was like, it was just from night to day he lost all this weight and I was like, oh my God, that's what I need. I need to lose weight like fast. And just so that I could fit into clothes, so I was like, I'm gonna try it. So that was what prompted me to go into Weight Watchers. And I remember walking in through those doors in my Weight Watchers Center. And here's a picture of what I used to look like. This was me the very first day after my very first meeting at Weight Watchers. This is what I look like. And I remember coming home after the meeting and I told my sister, take a picture of me. And she was like, why? And you can see the look on my face. I'm like, I'm not having it. <laughs> because I told her, take a picture of me. And she's like, what for? And I was like, because I'm never gonna look like this again. Like, I, I am gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. And she was like, yeah, right. She was giving me like, yeah, whatever, Julie. And I was gonna give, I was giving her this kind of look like, just take the picture. <laughs> So that happened and, and so that uh, I went on from there. I started Weight Watchers. I did everything I was supposed to. I, you know, I had to do it. That was my motivation. That was my why. Uh, so I was trucking along, um, doing everything I had to do, like I said. And finally around January of 2016, I had already lost 175 pounds. And at that point, I was kind of interested in going beyond uh, going from the background of being just a Weight Watchers member to actually working for Weight Watchers and um, I started working uh, as a receptionist and this was in January of 2016 I was hired and so around this time Weight Watchers changed the um, guidelines to get hired because in the past you had to have reached lifetime in order for you to become an employee but during around this time they changed the guidelines to now you only had to lose 10 percent of your starting weight which was like forget it you know i started <laughs> i started weight watchers um 
I went at 363 pounds and I remember I had 54 points. That's how, when I started Weight Watchers, that's how many points I had. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, what could, now that's like a weekly. That's how much I get with my dailies and my weekly. So that's what I would on one day. Oh my gosh. So that's what's the start of my journey. But anyways, um, around this time, like I said, they changed the guidelines. And so then I was hired before I, you know, had gotten to go. And so I got hired in January of 2016. And so um, after I had gotten hired, I was still, I still had, um, at this time in January 2016, I was eight pounds from goal. And I was like, good Lord, it took me forever to get those eight pounds off. I mean, it was like torture. It was so hard to get those last eight pounds off. It was like just torture. <laughs> and in me, I had the desire. I was even more so um, motivated and like, you know, I had to do it because now I was working for Weight Watchers. You know, I felt a certain kind of responsibility to be at goal and I just you know because up until then I had been at Weight Watchers like I said since 2013 so all of my experience on Weight Watchers was everybody who worked on Weight Watchers I knew them as a lifetime member so to go in without being lifetime it was just did something to me and I was like no I have to I have to get to go and so it was like it really lit a fire in me but it didn't it didn't matter because my body was not having it <laughs> it's like I'll get to lifetime and I'll lose these last eight pounds whenever I feel like it that's what my body was saying and it wasn't until April of 2016 oh my god all those months later so it was four months later. So from January to April. Finally in April, I lost those eight pounds. It took me all those months. I finally lost the eight pounds and I hit goal in April of 2016. Then six weeks later in May of 2016, I hit a lifetime. So I was like, yes, Woo, I'm so excited. I was so happy. like oh, finally like finally I saw that you know at, at the marathon that line where it's like finish <laughs> I finally saw the finish line I was like thank you Jesus I was so happy I finally got to lifetime in um, May 16th um, of 2016 so it was so awesome and uh, so after that after that, in June of 2016, I decided to not only be a receptionist, but I wanted to do also be a leader. So in June of 2016, I went to leader school in uh, Dallas, Texas. So I went for three days and uh, that's when I gained eight pounds <laughs> because everybody was like, oh, don't worry, Julie, it's all Weight Watcher food. And pff, yeah, right. When you put a buffet in front of me and my George and we've been through this, who's George? That's my stomach my uh, bottomless pit of a stomach. When you put a buffet in front of me and George, it's going down. So, <laughs> so I gained, after three days, I gained eight pounds and I was like, oh my God, I'm desperate to get it off. And it came off pretty quickly. But right after I came back from the leader school, I remember in June also that same month, as soon as I came back, I fractured two of my toes. So I was in such a rush to lose that weight that I was not being careful when I was exercising and I dropped a 10 pound weight onto two of my toes, completely crushing them and uh, I was devastated. And I was telling the doctor like, what am I gonna do because I have to lose this weight, I have to maintain, like I don't wanna give up, here I am, I finally got to lifetime. It's been a dream of mine two years and 10 months in the making, I've dedicated my whole everything to this and I cannot you know just let it go just because I have an injury like no I have to keep going and so that's when I got my elliptical bike and I kept chugging along and thank god all those eight pounds came off and everything was a-okay <laughs> 
So then after that, after all that, in July, in July of 2016, just a few uh, weeks later, I was contacted by the Weight Watchers magazine um, that they wanted to feature a lot of bloggers and YouTubers on their uh, magazine like and do an article and all sorts of stuff. And they had sent all these questions and all these things that they wanted me to like, you know, I basically I wrote a whole book <laughs> because they were like asking all these questions and they wanted the answers. And so I did all that and I submitted it to them and they were just like, okay, we're going to go over it and we're going to be, um, they wanted me to take pictures of me blogging and how I did it and all this kind of stuff. And so that was pretty fun. And then uh, in August of 2016, just a few weeks later, like everything was happening. Every, like 2016 was such a busy year. Everything was happening in 2016. In August, I got contacted that they wanted to do, Weight Watchers wanted to do uh, some commercial. And it was featuring real members and they wanted, you know, for us to submit all these, um, a, not, no, it wasn't pictures. They wanted like a whole film and they wanted all this kind of stuff and you know they wanted me to go all martin scorsese on it and i'm like oh my god it was like this is my extent of my filming capabilities <laughs> i did not have time to do, go all you know go to film school and do all martin scorsese and get the lighting and if i haven't done it <laughs> from <laughs> <laughs> till now it's not gonna get done like oh my gosh so anyways that didn't fall that you know that did not work out at all and so but I thought to myself oh I still got that you know that big spread that they're gonna do about you know and the Weight Watcher magazine and so I'm good you know no thanks I'm just not you know I just don't have the time for that and so then in November 2016 the magazine comes out and they tell me here's the magazine and the magazine comes out and they're like, oh yeah, congratulations, and da da da, and all, you're all this and that. And so I kept looking through it, y'all, and I'm like, where's the spread? Where's the, <laughs> where's the, where's the big spread? Because I remember I wrote like a whole uh, novel, like War and Peace on it, like what's all this going on? And I couldn't find out where my War and Peace novel was. And I finally found it in the middle. There I am. There's, that was it. And that was me. They put me on the um, this issue, and it was from. Hopefully, this is autofocusing, but it says from this 2016. And so that was me right there. And um, there was no War and Peace novel, <laughs> but I was there. I made it. I was in there. And so I'm thinking maybe one day I need to post all that stuff on my blog. Um, I was thinking about it as a matter of fact when I was writing these notes I was going back doing the timeline I was like I don't know why I was holding on to it I was thinking maybe somehow or other it would make it somewhere but um, I'm gonna like why am I holding on to it I'm just gonna put it up on my blog so that you can see because it was a lot of work like I said it was war and peace y'all <laughs> so I'm gonna put it up there so up on my blog pretty soon and uh, they ask a bunch of questions about my journey, about, you know, how it came to be, you know, that I was on Weight Watchers, my motivation, you know, what was my why. So I'm hoping it'll be helpful to people who are just starting and thinking of joining. So I'm going to go ahead and release that and put it out there. But I wanted to kind of tell you a little bit about it before I did because everybody would be like, what's going on? What is this? Why, what, why is she posting this? <laughs> so there, now you know the story, the scoop. So after November, everything kind of slowed down and November, December, everything kind of slowed down and 2017 came on and it was just really quiet. Except of course, I developed a very unhealthy uh, obsession with ordering from HSN and QVC. <laughs> that was about it, which my husband did not like at all. <laughs> But that was about it that was going on in 2017. One of the biggest celebrations that I celebrated in that year was my first year on Lifetime. So woo! I celebrated uh, in May of 2017. I celebrated my first year on Lifetime. And of course, here's a picture. And uh, I was just so happy. And that felt so amazing. I just can't wait to continue that. Okay, um, I did, if you remember from my videos, I did start uh, planning on the Get Fit Planner. And remember this video. 
and uh, so that was something new that I tried in 2017 which was the get fit planner that's how I started uh, tracking my progress and my meals and everything that went on um, also uh, so it was like so like I said it was pretty quiet up until December of 2017 that I got a notification that my blog made it to uh, the top 60 Weight Watcher blogs and websites. So woohoo, we got an award, yay! High five y'all, we did it. So that was awesome. And then in YouTube, I reached uh, over 5,000 subscribers. So woohoo, yay! Thank you so much, you guys. I totally, totally appreciate that. That is so amazing. It just makes me feel so excited and so grateful for you to click on that subscribe button. It just really makes my day. I'm just so excited to uh, for that. And of course, the biggest news in December was that Freestyle was introduced. So yay, that was Freestyle. That was when it came out. And um, as employees, we had been doing this since October. So we had uh, been doing a bunch of uh, tips and tricks to it. Um, and I just didn't really want to spoil it for y'all because I really wanted for you to get that information from your leader and your meeting rooms. And But now that it, the dust has settled and you've gotten everything that you needed to get, now we can go into it, right? <laughs> So now we've done it. We've gone all our recaps. See, that was pretty quick, right? We did a fast recap of all my journey, uh, end of 2017, which was super quiet. And now we are at 2018. Woohoo! Yay! So we're finally good to the new year. So what's going to happen in 2018? What can you expect to see in this channel? Well, let me go ahead and tell you. <laughs> First of all is, of course, I still love to plan. I have to plan. It's my favorite thing, right? So one thing I have changed is uh, I did the big happy planner for my uh, regular planning and stuff. And this year it was just too big. It was too big because basically I just use it for work. So I bought this little happy planner and this one is called or it says every moment matters and it is so cute and so colorful like oh my god i'm so in love with and you know me i love colors i love just so cute and it's just so amazing i love that this has uh the birthdays it has all the things it's just so colorful y'all i just i'm so happy with it it's just so full and bursting with colors i just love it so this is going to be for my um look how cute this is going to be for my you know daily stuff appointments and things like that you know work related things like that of that nature and for my uh health and fitness uh, what i did is if you guys remember this is the big happy planner um that i have in um and the previous year and basically what I did I just cannibalized it I got the front cover off of it and in the inside what I did was I pretty much uh, created my own um, I got a bunch of papers you know that I just you know got together and because there was nothing as usual there's never anything that uh, is tailor-made for me that works for me so I always have to you know do a cut and paste job um, I did take some people's um, already made stuff like on the net and then I just kind of customize it for myself. I will be linking uh, some of the things that um, I did find online from another video that I'm making uh, all about my, how I'm planning this year. Uh, I just really wanted to give you a brief overview right now uh, but um, I wanted to tell you I got this. This is like the Get Fit Planner but I found this online. This awesome lady, she told me about a, a Facebook group where did a Get Fit Planner the size of a Happy Planner and I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. It's gonna change my life because I need more space. And when I printed it out and I got to it, it turned out that it was the same exact space. It was uh, from the Happy, uh, from the other Get Fit Planner, but it was just wider. And I'm like, no, I needed it like white. You know, I needed it taller because I need more boxes. So what I ended up doing was I uh, added another box to it. I did a whole cut and paste job. You know, it was all reminiscent of Catch Me If You Can with that movie with Tom Hanks and Leonardo DiCaprio. I was doing cut and paste, y'all. <laughs> So just to get it to the size that I needed. But this is awesome, I love it. It looks a little different. And uh, so I ended up making my own. I ended up making my own. And like I said, I'm gonna make another video telling you all about how I made this. 
So um, watch out for that. Also, um, also, and it's just been a few days into the new year, y'all, and I've already been hit with so many things. Um, I, first of all, I could not wait for 2017 to be over because, like I said, I had all these planners and I, they all started in January. And I'm like, hurry up because I want to start using them. <laughs> so um, that was that. And also in like about two weeks before the last two weeks of December, my Fitbit one just died on me. I did an update to it, like to a, an update, and that update just messed up my Fitbit one and then I was like oh no worries I'm just gonna go buy another one I went to the store and lo and behold they discontinued the Fitbit one and I was like oh my god it's the end of the world because I do not like wearing the bands right now I'm test driving um this Fitbit uh what is this Alta uh and because I've already gone through an, an uh, like two garments that I didn't like oh it's been something else <laughs> So I'm on this and I was so frustrated and I contacted the company so I'm hoping to see what's going to happen after this and uh, I'm just I'll tell you in another video all about my Fitbit woes so that happened and so you can expect that coming up. I'm um, also this year in 2018 I really really oh, and I slammed down the paper. <laughs> This year in 2018, I really want to get into teas. Now, I have been dabbling in teas since the beginning of time that I started with Weight Watchers back in 2013. I always, you know, I had read so in so many places that about green tea and how it speeds up your metabolism and all this kind of stuff. So I've been trying to get into it, but oh dear God in heaven, I just cannot with green tea. Like I cannot. I tried every single variation every single thing out there and under the earth moon and stars to try to drink it and it just was not happening so the only thing i was able to drink was matcha and i hope i'm saying it right but i like matcha i can drink it so i'm gonna this year i really want to get into it i really really want to get into it and i you know it's kind of hard here in texas to do because it's so hot no, normally of course this year it's been a little bit more cooler so um it really lends itself to that but i really need to get into drinking more tea so <clears throat> expect that in 2018 also in 2018 um uh, it's gonna be the year of the subscription boxes for me <laughs> like i said earlier i just got this unhealthy um obsession to hsn and to qvc and i just got addicted to getting boxes delivered all the time <laughs> like oh my god i'm getting something so i just got so happy with that and so um i just i'm gonna go with the flow and totally do the subscription boxes for sure for sure i started with gnc and i'm gonna tell you a video about all the stuff that i got uh, when i signed up for that one um i'm thinking about dabbling into walmart beauty boxes and to the fab fit fun box and also i want to do like a teamy thing i'm not sure yet i'm still kind of dabbling i'm trying to find out if it's something that i really want to you know pursue you know <laughs> go into it or i'm just gonna dabble a little bit also new this year uh, i bought a new scale so this is the scale that i bought and this is the Weight Watchers um, Bluetooth analysis scale by Conair. Now, what was so awesome about this is they actually have an app. And you stand and it connects through Bluetooth. And so you're, it's taking your weight and it takes it straight to the app. And, and supposedly it says it does all these analysis of body fat and all this kind of stuff. Now, I've only used it twice. And I still haven't seen any of analysis come up. I don't know if I have to do something. So I'm going to look into that. But it's so cute. It lights up like on the on the edges. It lights up blue. It's totally cute. I totally love it. And it's, you know, really kind of close to accurate to what I weigh at the center. So I really like it. And I'm loving that app, which is so awesome. And um, also this, this year in 2018, um, aside from, I'm going to be double tracking, aside from tracking on Weight Watchers uh, app, I'm also going to be tracking my calories. And I'll explain more in depth what I'm talking about when I tell you about how it is that I'm working the freestyle program. Uh, and this will make total sense. And uh, so look out for that video. 
So what else can you expect in 2018? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> you can expect lots of yummy recipes, lots of grocery hauls, and of course, the eating out series i really like those i hope that you like those eating out series because they really become a lifesaver to me especially when i'm out and about so i hope that you're liking those and i think that's it okay guys well i hope that you liked my recap so far of my journey and my 2017 and what's coming up in 2018 i truly hope that you enjoyed this video please give me the thumbs up if you did like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this thank you so much for being here have a wonderful day and happy 2018 bye